You know, I just saved this company. I signed the first new business since Lucky Strike left. But it's not as important as getting married. Again. Well, I was just made director of agency operations. A title, no money, of course. And if they poured champagne, it must have been while I was pushing the mail cart. It is one of the most popular dramas on TV. I'm addicted. AMC's Mad Men is set in the 1960s, and it seems that basically all they did back then was smoke, drink, uh, flirt among office mates. What really was the case back then? Not a bad life. Well, Jane Moss knows. She was a copywriter at a top Madison Avenue firm in 1964. She's written a book about her time there, and it's called Mad Women, The Other Side of Life on Madison Avenue in the 60s and Beyond. And Jane, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for being here. I'm very glad to be here. It's almost my 80th birthday. It was just, uh, I was 82 days ago. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I know you're a big fan of the show, and I'm sure I'm addicted. <laughs> fans of the show want to know, first and foremost, how true to life is this show? How much does it represent what you went through? Well, it's very true to life, except whatever they're doing on the show, we did more. Really? Yes, So true. it was bigger. It was crazier back it was, then. It was crazier. There was more sex. There was more drinking, and women were wow. treated even worse. How are you behaving? I was behaving very well. <laughs> <laughs> but you were you say women were treated worse, so you went through the, the, some of the sexism that we see in the program. Oh, yes, indeed. I, I, there was no such term as sexual harassment in those days, but I, I worked for a creative director at one point who really pursued me sexually for two years, and there was nobody I could tell. Um, if I told my husband, who was a former Marine Corps officer, he would have come into the office and shot him, so that mm. wasn't going to work. It did but, seem to be a double standard there, because, uh, you know, the, the guys could get away with this, having these affairs, but the women, it was frowned upon. Clearly, it takes two to tango in those situations. Oh, in, yes, it does. And sometimes women were the predators, uh, because uh, sometimes women found that the best way they could get ahead, be promoted from secretary to copywriter, for instance, was to um, make it with your boss. And hmm. uh, so sometimes that happened. One it, of the people in the program, though, Peggy, who didn't get there by that, she, she got to no. copywriter based on her own merits, and she's the one people compare you to. Yes, uh, people do say that I'm a real-life Peggy Olson, and she's the one that I empathize with. The, the only thing Mad Men gets wrong is uh, if you're a woman copywriter in the 60s, you wear a hat firmly on your head in the office all day long. Uh, you even wear it to the ladies' room. Uh, really? It's, it's a badge that you, that you have been... Wow. You've earned it? Yes, that you've earned it. Interesting. Now, but, but sex in the office uh, went on all the time. Uh, and it was very much the senior men uh, who were having sex in the office because they had offices with doors that closed. Then they had couches. The junior men only had chairs. So if you're an executive vice president, you have a couch. So, Jane, it's St. Patrick's Day. We have to talk about drinking. When you watch this show, it makes everyone's office look like an open bar. How, how true is that? How much drinking was going on? Well, Mad Men exaggerates it a little bit because we never drank in the morning. <laughs> how uh, restrained of you. <laughs> and, exactly. and, and women only went out to lunch maybe twice a week because uh, we were aware that the men went out to lunch every day and had three martini lunches, and somebody had to stay at the office and get the work done. But when women did go out to lunch, I remember we'd start, he would have three martinis, and I'd have two martinis, and then we'd end up with something called rusty nails, which is a combination of scotch and drambuie. Uh, and people asked me how we managed to go back to work, and I'd say, well, I think it's because we didn't have wine in between. That That's what saved us. <laughs> took a little nap at the desk yes. in the afternoon. Yes. We won't ask you what's in your cup over there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Moss, the real life mad woman. Thanks so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. it. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day.